Yo, what's going on gang? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 10 and in this video I want to look at how we can wrap and unwrap elements using jQuery. <laughs> okay then guys, so when I say an element is wrapped, I just mean there is a parent element surrounding it. For example, these li tags right here are surrounded by this ul tag, so we'd say these li tags are wrapped with this ul tag, yeah? Simple. So we can control this wrapping and unwrapping of elements in the HTML using jQuery dynamically. And by that, I mean, we could say, okay, take all of those, I don't know, P tags and wrap them in a div tag. All right, now you might be thinking, why on earth would you wanna do that? Well, there's a few different scenarios in which you do it. Uh, one scenario I can think of off the top of my head would be if you have a contact form, for example, at the bottom of that form, you have a button. And you don't want that button to be pressed until all of the fields of that form are filled in. So you could say, okay, wrap this button in a div tag, which is going to be styled to disable that button. Then when they're all filled out, those form fields, you could say, okay, use the unwrap method now on that button to unwrap that div so that people can click it. Okay, that's just one example. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is take a look at these three methods re uh, right here. They're the methods I use to wrap and unwrap elements. And then what we'll do is take a look at an example combining a few of these with some functions or uh, events using JavaScript. So we'll take a look at this one first of all, wrap. And what this does, guys, is just take all of the matched elements that we use jQuery to find, and then it wraps them individually in a given tag. So for example, we could say, go out and get all the sections. In fact, we'll do that. Let's say, oops, dollar sign, section. And that's going to bring us back an array full of those section tags, those jQuery objects of those section tags. And then we can say wrap. And then within these brackets right here, we just say which tag we want to wrap them with. Okay, and we pass it in a string format. So I'm just going to say div, an empty div tag. Now we don't need to put the clothes in div tag because uh, JavaScript and HTML are clever enough to realize that if you want to wrap something in a tag, then it needs a closing tag. So that takes care of itself for you. You just need to put the opening tag. So right here, my friends, what this is doing is saying, okay, get all those section tags, then wrap them individually, each one with a div tag. All right, so we'll save this now. We'll come over here, expand this, refresh, and I'm gonna open the development tool so we can take a look at that HTML. And if we open the main content, we find the wrapper first of all, then we've got these three empty div tags, which we've just put in, okay? Because we said take each section right there and wrap them in a div tag. And it's taken each section and done exactly that. All right, so we've wrapped them. Now, what if we want to unwrap them? Okay, well, we can do that. We'll copy that, paste this down below, and this time I'm gonna put unwrap. And this time we don't need to specify anything in the parenthesis, because what it's gonna do is just look at its immediate parent element, the thing that's wrapping it, and it's just gonna take it away. Doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a div, a ul, anything whatsoever, it's just gonna unwrap it, okay? So let's save this again and refresh over here. And then if I inspect the element again, hopefully we're not gonna see those div tags wrapping the sections anymore. And we don't, cool. All right, so that's wrap and unwrap. The final one I wanna show you is wrap all, okay? So what this does, in fact, I'll write it out first of all, we'll come down here and we'll say wrap all, just like that. And we wanna wrap them all in a div tag. So it's gonna get all of those sections together and then it's gonna put one empty div tag around all of them, not each one individually, but all of them as one whole, okay? So let's save this and view it over here. If I inspect the element again, we'll open this up and we should see the wrapper, then an empty div tag, just one empty div tag that is wrapping all of these sections in one. Okay, so that is the difference between wrap, which wraps each section individually or each element that you grab individually, and then wrap all, which takes them all, treats them as a whole, and wraps them all in one tag. All right, okay then, so we've seen all those three methods individually. Now let's do a quick example. So I'm gonna just quickly delete all this right here. And the first thing I wanna do 
is edit the HTML. I'm going to put a little button at the top right here. Just bear with me when I do this. Let's, uh, we'll call this uh, div class equals button. We'll give it some style properties. I'm going to say the text align should be center. Then I'll say the padding is going to be about 10 pixels. Uh, background orange. That will do it. It doesn't need to be great. Just a little button that spans the width of the page. And then I'll say inside unwrap. All right, so if I save this now and view this over here, what I want to do is when we click this button, and I'll expand it, when we click this button, I want to unwrap all of these sections. I want to take that wrapper away from it so that it should go full screen. Because remember, in the code over here, we've got this class of a wrapper surrounding all of these sections. Now I want to unwrap that so that it's no longer contained within the central column and it spans the full width of the screen. And then when you click it again, it rewraps them. Okay. Now you probably wouldn't do this on many websites. I just wanted to show you a practical example of how we'd use this with functions and events. So the first thing I want to do is create a few variables. The first one is going to be the wrapper, which is a string and it's going to be div class equals then single quote so we don't escape out of the string wrapper just like that and remember we don't need to put the closing tag because jquery javascript html they all figure that out themselves and we just keep it like that next variable is the button i need to grab that from the dom which is up here it's got a class of button so i just need to say button just like that it's going to grab that for me and the last thing I want to do is create a variable called wrapped. And I'll set that equal to true. All right, then. So they're the three variables. I'll explain what the wrapped one is for later on. Now, the next thing I want to do is create an event so that when this is clicked, all the action takes place. Now, I'm going to use vanilla JavaScript to do this because we've not covered events in jQuery yet. So I'll just say button. And then remember, we have to unwrap that element because currently it's got that jQuery wrapper all around it so we can use jQuery methods. And that's because we grabbed it using jQuery. So to unwrap it, remember, all we have to do is specify which one in the array of jQuery objects it's returned we want. And because there's only one of them, it's going to be in the zero position. So that's what I'm doing right there. Remember, we covered this in an earlier lesson. It was all about wrapping and unwrapping elements when we're using jQuery. So now I've unwrapped it, I can use the vanilla JavaScript uh, methods on it and the method I want to use or rather the events I want to use is the on click event And by the way, I cover events in JavaScript in my JavaScript for beginners course So if you want to check that out you can I'll leave the link down below and we're going to set this equal to a function And then within this function is where all the action is going to take place Now then I'm going to do a quick check to see whether this wrapper is currently there or not, because if it's there, then we need to unwrap it. If it's not there, we need to wrap it, right? So I'll say if wrapped, and that's this variable here, currently it's set to true, and I've set it to true because to begin with, the wrapper is there, so it's true. It's currently wrapped. Okay, so if wrapped, then we want to unwrap it, else we're going to wrap it up. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is grab, oops, the sections like that, and that's going to return all those sections for us. And then we just need to say unwrap, and that's going to unwrap them. And it's going to take that div wrapper away because that is the uh, the nearest parent. Remember, when you say unwrap, it just finds the nearest parent and takes it away. Okay, so that's what we've done there. And under here, we need to get the sections again because this is where we're wrapping them. Section and then dot wrap, oops, dot wrap. And now we don't want to use just wrap because that's going to put a div around each different section. We want to wrap all, and then that's just going to put the wrapper around each, not around each one, around them all as a whole. Okay, so it's going to put this back at the top. So wrap all, and then within that, we want to put the wrapper which is this variable right here. Remember, div class equals wrapper, like that. And then we need to 
change this variable right here. So if it's true, then we're going to unwrap it. And if it's unwrapped, we need to change this to false because now it's unwrapped. Yeah, makes sense. So let's do that. Wrapped equals false. And then next time it comes around, it's going to say, is it true? No, it's false. OK, then I'll go here, then unwrap it. OK, so that's what we'll do. We'll, uh, sorry, not unwrap it, then wrap it. So we'll set that uh, wrapped equal to true here. And so each time it's changing and it's unwrapping and wrapping depending on what it is before. OK, last thing I want to do is just change the text on this button each time you click it, because if I click it, I want it to change to wrap. And then if I click again, change back to unwrap. OK, so what I want to do is come down here and I'll do button dot text. And I've not done this little zero here because it's a jQuery um, method, this text. OK, so we can just call it on this itself. And we covered this in an earlier tutorial. And the text here is going to be wrap. So once we've unwrapped it, now this is going to become wrap. And then the opposite is going to be true for down below. I'll just copy this and paste it down here. And we'll call this unwrap like that. And I think we're pretty much done, guys. So let's save that and refresh over here. Now if you expand this and click this, it's going to unwrap, make it full screen like that. It's going to take that wrapper away. And then if I click it again, it's going to bring it back and wrap it. Keep on clicking it. Hours of endless fun. Amazing. All right. All right. So... You may not want that on your website, but you can imagine this could be something like make full screen for a video or something. I don't know. And it makes it full screen. The possibilities, guys, are endless with what you can do with this. So that about covers this tutorial. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share and like, and I'll see you in the next video.